Hi guys, welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I am your host, Jessica Beck, and today you are going to learn formal and informal vocabulary for IELTS. Um, guys, this is important for all of you, no matter if you're a general student or an academic student, because for all of you guys, you have to show a range of vocabulary from informal to formal on IELTS speaking. Just like our three key student, Elias, who got an 8.5 on speaking, guys. Knowing what the examiner wants is necessary if you're gonna break past that seven, all right? Um, and then for general training candidates in task one, you must use the right vocabulary to hit the formal or informal tone as required in the letter, okay? If you don't do that, you can't get a good score. So I'm gonna give you some examples today, guys. Take notes because you can definitely use this vocab on your next exam. Also, check out another video on this channel called Formal and Informal Paraphrases for Because. Lots of good vocab there too. Okay, let's get into it. So. Um, we recently talked about some vocab related to family and children, right? So informal ways to say children could be tots and little tykes. I love this vocabulary. Guys, look below the video in the description. I'll type the vocabulary out, okay? So tots and little tykes. Very informal for children. And then formal, offspring, like I taught you. Or we could also say progeny, which is a great word, or very general paraphrase, minors, right? Anybody who um, is not legally an adult is a minor, okay? Now, another one, shop. Very general verb, we use it all the time, all over the speaking and writing exams, right? So a nice informal way to say shop for something is to hunt for something, all right? So for example, I need to get some new running shoes, so I think I'm gonna um, hit the stores and hunt for a good deal on running shoes. So formal ways to say shop, right? So. To make something formal, it's um, we often have a very long phrase to say a simple thing. So for example, you could say, searching for merchandise to purchase. So that's a very impressive long paraphrase instead of just saying shop, all right? So remember guys, the examiner needs to hear informal language in speaking part one and part two, and formal language in part two. Three. Um, for the complete system of strategies for all parts of the speaking test and the whole exam, get into Three Keys IELTS, you guys. We have helped thousands of students increase their scores. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S and check out more details. All right, everyone, I will see you in the next video. Have a lovely, delightful day. Bye. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring exclusive bonus video lessons with Jessica, Lindsay, and Michelle. Get the app now at allearsenglish.com forward slash app.